saving horses from slaughter. It's the mission of an, of an all-volunteer group which uses the Internet to call attention to horses that have just days to live. News 12 New Jersey's Matt Murphy takes a look at Camelot Horse Weekly, marking one year of giving steeds a second chance. There you go. Good boy. Lisa Post is admiring one of the dozens of horses that come through Camelot Auction in Cranberry on a weekly basis. Most of these horses are young, they're healthy, they're well-trained, uh, they just need a second chance, a fresh start. Post is founder of Camelot Horse Weekly, a group of volunteers that comes to these stables after every Wednesday auction, takes pictures of the horses that were not sold, and posts the photos on the Internet, hoping to save them from being shipped off for slaughter in other countries get them in front of the public, let people know that they're here. When a pet owner has to give up, let's say, their dog or cat, they can oftentimes give it up to a shelter. But there's no horse shelter. That's where Camelot Auction and Camelot Horse Weekly come into play. Nobody wants to see horses shipped to slaughter. Um, everybody would love to see them go into new homes. Um, but you cannot warehouse horses forever. It's not like, you know, having a shelter full of cats. I mean, 20 horses eat a lot of food. Sarah Andrew is a professional photographer who volunteers her time helping to save more than 1,400 horses bought by people from across the country. Because I love horses and because it's, uh, it's something that they, they need, the horses need a chance. These volunteers are grateful. Camelot Auction has accommodated them for a year now. Good man. Post says she's begun working with other volunteer groups hoping to save horses from slaughter at auctions in their own states. In Cranberry, Matt Murphy, News 12, New Jersey. Yeah, some really beautiful animals there. Now, for more information on Camelot Horse Weekly and its Facebook listing of horses available for sale, log on to News12.com and click on the Numbers and Links section near the top of the page.